Actor Owen Wilson began his Hollywood career with a little known independent film called Bottle Rocket, a movie that he co wrote with filmmaker Wes Anderson. Over the next few years, audiences didn't really seem to know what to make of this ruggedly handsome but slightly goofy actor until 2000. Then he starred in a triple hitter of films, starting with Shanghai Noon, followed up by Behind Enemy Lines, and finally The Royal Tenenbaums, all of which turned him into a big name across America. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Following the release of Bottle Rocket in 1996, Owen Wilson bought himself a relatively humble house in Santa Monica that he intended to flip, but surprisingly still lives in to this day. He purchased the first of what would become a pair of land parcels for the relatively inexpensive price of $755,000. LA County tax reports suggest that Owen's longtime main home Home boasts 2,792 square feet of space alongside four bedrooms and four bathrooms. And in late 2005, Owen would spend another $1.6 million to buy the house of his next door neighbor, which he then knocked down to make way for a larger yard for his original estate. Outside of those specific details, not a whole lot else is known about Owen Wilson's primary pad. But there's been a couple of news stories that have come up while Owens lived there, not the least of which is what happened in 2007 when he was deep deep in the thralls of depression, and reports began to circulate that Owen had attempted to take his own life while living in his Santa Monica home. Thankfully, Owen managed to recover from that awful episode with the loving support of friends and family who stayed by his side day and night. In point of fact, while well, it was Owen's little brother Luke Wilson who found him when he was in trouble and called for emergency services, it was his older brother Andrew who moved into Owen's Santa Monica home and stuck by his side until he was out of the woods. According to Owen, Andrew would get up with him each and every morning to keep him on schedule so that life never seemed to be insurmountable. Then, after a long time, Owen finally got better. More than a decade later, Owen Wilson still lives at his Santa Monica address and a few months ago, Go, he had to deal with a big nuisance. One morning back in May 2022, he got up, headed outside to hop in his Tesla, and was shocked to discover that Crooks had made off with all four of his rims and tires during the night. With his car left on literal blocks, Owen had no way to get it anywhere for repair. Luckily, the vehicle didn't incur any other damages, but Owen still had to cough up around $4,000 to replace those missing wheels. Of course, considering what else Owen has been through on the property, that's a small problem to have. And what's more, after buying this first home, one would continue to scoop up a number of properties to add to his real estate portfolio, three of which are also located in the state of California. So let's check out a couple of those next. As his film career carried forth, Owen invested a considerable sum of his net worth in a few lucrative LA-based homes, one of which was a Malibu beach house. Like many of Hollywood's top-tier talent, Owen likes to keep a posh pad in Malibu, and back in July 2005, he custom-built a 6,000-square-foot, eco-friendly contemporary home here for $3.9 million. It also boasts a tennis court and swimming pool on a 1.43-acre ocean view parcel and is located in the Point Doom area. While he's managed to keep the rest of the details about this house under wraps, we know that he still visits this property frequently and takes advantage of every opportunity to hit those Malibu beaches. Of course, when he gets tired of Santa Monica and Malibu, Owen also has the option of heading to the neighborhood of Westdale in West Los Angeles. That's where in 2012, he acquired a 1,980 square foot property to the tune of $1.2 million. And honestly, this might be the one home in Owen's portfolio which we know the least amount about. We don't even have a picture of it. All I can tell you is that listing details from the time of the sale suggest that it's located on a leafy street and that the home is said to include three bedrooms and three bathrooms. Now that we know where Owen spends his time while living in the City of Angels, let's check out another one of his incredible homes in Hawaii. When he's not living in Los Angeles, odds are you'll find Owen Wilson spending a fair amount of time on the north shore of the Hawaiian island of Maui, where he's been known to drop a band or two during high stakes poker games with some of his best friends in the biz, Woody Harrelson and Willie Nelson. After getting used to the environment on the island, in 2007, Owen would snatch up a pair of side-by-side -side land parcels, one of which was even ocean fronting, and he combined them into 
into one five bedroom, five and a half bathroom, funky looking contemporary bungalow that reportedly costs about $5.8 million to build. Owen's residence is located not far from the beach and is situated in a town known as Paya, a former plantation village that primarily harvested sugar grown nearby. Still surrounded by beautiful sugarcane, Paya is said to boast some of Maui's nicest beaches and is well known for its windsurfing. According to local lore, Owen likes to spend so much time around here that he's even developed a relationship with a bunch of the island's residents, including the time that he faced off against then Maui mayor Alan Arakawa in a 50,000 charity chess match in 2011. The mayor would go on to beat Wilson two out of three times and then donated the proceeds towards relief efforts for the 2011 earthquake that caused such a crisis in Japan. All right, before we wrap up, we've got one last home to take a look at, and to do so, we'll have to head back over to the mainland to stop off in Los Angeles once more. Owen Wilson's most recent addition to his real estate portfolio is a $1.5 million home that he purchased in 2014 in the Los Angeles neighborhood known as the Pacific Palisades. Listing details indicate that this updated and upgraded 1940s era stucco sided bungalow has three bedrooms and two bathrooms along with 1,522 square feet of interior space. The house sits high up atop a street level two car garage and it's a very long walk from the driveway to the front entry which boasts a spacious and shaded deck nestled in its surrounding treetops. The red front door opens directly into a small but airy living room with a dark chocolate colored hardwood floors, vaulted ceilings with exposed beams, a window flanked fireplace, and French doors that lead out to the deck. Over in the attached dining room, the space is flooded with natural light through a massive 20 pane window and is painted in a curious shade of salmon. It also connects to a sunroom, which includes backyard access through yet another series of French doors. As for the efficient galley style kitchen, it's been fairly recently updated with white shaker style cabinets, marble countertops, and high grade stainless steel appliances. At one end of the room, there's even a bay window that's the perfect size for a table for two. And at the other end is a laundry station. Elsewhere on the main level are two small bedrooms, one of which boasts a gorgeous vaulted ceiling and both of which share a small hall bathroom. Then there's the nearby master suite, which while it's small, includes French doors, wooden floors, and an attached bathroom with a marble topped vanity and a sharply angled glass enclosed shower. Out back at the rear of the residence, it wraps around a Mexican tiled central courtyard that leads to a small but flat and grass yard with a jungle gym swing set. Something tells me that Owen probably tore that thing down after buying the place. But then again, he's a pretty eccentric guy, so maybe he found a way to get some use out of it. All in all, it's unclear exactly how many of these properties are long-term investments versus actual places Owen spends time living in. But either way, there's no denying that Owen Wilson has a highly enviable real estate portfolio to go along with his stellar acting career. All right, everyone, that is gonna bring this latest tour to a close. Thanks for watching today's video. And before you head out, consider answering the following question for me. If you owned Owen Wilson's real estate portfolio but could only keep one ocean view property, which would it be? His beach house in Malibu or his vacation pad in Maui? Let me know if you're more about that California living or the island life in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to never miss an episode. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me over on Instagram to chat more, and I'll see you all in another tour. Bye.